Hey everyone, I'm Matt. Welcome back to another video. Today, I am super excited. We're taking a look at the number one selling diesel pusher in the entire country. This is the 2021 Tiffin Phaeton Model 40, Model 40AH. We are gonna take a look at the outside features first, then the inside features, then we're gonna give you three things we love about the best selling motorhome and three things we don't like about it. We're starting in three, two, one. Hey everyone again, welcome back to another video. My name is Matt from Matt's RV Reviews. It's the world's only channel giving you that true and biased review about everything when it comes to RVs. And again, today I am super excited that Andre and I traveled all the way up here to Virginia to be reviewing a Tiffin Phaeton. Number one, we, we don't have them in Florida because they always sell because it's the best selling motor diesel pusher of all time. But before I begin, I would like to say hi to Andrea. Hey Andrea! Hey everyone! How's it going? It's going good. We're still here in Richmond. What a beautiful day, it huh? Is, it is, and we're trying to get the uh, RVs that you guys have requested. Yep. So we yep. hope you are enjoying this. And you know, I, I gotta tell you, Andrea, this might be one of the most requested motorhomes I've ever gotten. Everybody wants to see the new Phaeton, and uh, let, let's just begin. Model is 48H, and the actual tip-to-tip -tip length of this motorhome is 41 feet 4 inches. Look at the headlights. Look at these headlights. Is that not cool? It, it is kinda, pretty cool. It looks like a Decepticon or an Opticon or what are those Transformers called? Decepticons. Decepticons, yeah. <laughs> it looks so cool with the chrome right there, the detail, the edging, I love that. This is a very mean, aggressive look. Right under here, we do have a Onan 10,000 generator. Very nice. Nice big windshield. Look, Andrea, this one must have came from Florida. Those must be love bugs. For real. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, nice big windshield, and this is your mobile eye collision mitigation. Even the way the window wipers work, like this, like wow. Very nice. Right here, we do have the chrome mirrors, bus style, really big cameras on the left blinker, right blinker in reverse, and just zoom out real quick. Look at this paint job. I know. Black on black on red. I like it. Black on black on red. Black on black on red. Black on black on red. That's yeah. always how you are. I like it. I know, right? That's like, this is like my whole closet wardrobe right here. A uh, very nice, very big and awesome. Check this out. We have chrome, chrome handles throughout. A freaking doorbell to get inside with a passcode in case you forever get your key. Uh, I love that. They are doing like the frameless window style. I mean, there is a frame, but it, it's, I don't know how to describe it. It is a frameless windows. You have a door awning right there. And then check out these tires, Andrea. Oh, snap, so sorry. This, the engine is a Cummins ISL, 380 horsepower with 1150 foot pounds of torque. And it can tow 10,000 pounds. And it sits on a custom Freightliner chassis. Raised rail, not a straight rail. And then check out these towers, Andrea. They're the Michelins. 275-80R22.5. With these nice AccuRide rims. So sorry, Andrea, if you want to check this out first, this is a nice seamless slide out. Oh, that's nice. Yep, seamless slide out. It just makes it look good when you're driving down the road. Here's your fuel fill up, access it on both sides. Right, here's your propane tank. Do you know how I knew that, Andrea? Because it said propane? Because <laughs> it said propane, exactly. <laughs> we will have all the tank sizes about this motorhome. Lang Swift's everything down in the description below. Also right here, bing, for everybody to watch on television. Very nice. And these stain latch doors are awesome. Raised rail chassis, Andrea. That's how you're able to get this nice more ride slide out tray. Awesome. Very nice, easy to access and everything. We do have a Gerard armless awning with wind sensor. Uh, as you guys can probably hear, it's very windy out today. So we will not be doing that. We do have a TV on the outside. Oh, with a sound bar. LG TV at that. And look, a USB plug right there. Awesome. You can never have enough USBs. Andrea, are you getting fired up? Like, I'm getting so fired up about the Tiffin Phaeton because we haven't seen one. This is the first Tiffin Phaeton on our show. I know. I'm so fired up. I know, I want to see the inside. Yep. 
Look at that, more storage right there. Okay. Is that a ladder for the back? I bet it is. And more storage. Now this, Andrea, this is an access panel for your residential refrigerator. Oh. You know, that really does help save on labor costs in case it's anything that they can access from here. Here's your fresh water tank. That's where you fill up your potable water. Potable, potable, potable. And just look at that, Phaeton. Phaeton, Phaeton. Not Phaeton, not, not Phaeton, Phaeton, I love it. Right here's the batteries and everything else. Coleman's. Oh, I'm ready, we forgot to say what I did say. Look, here's a little bit more storage. You ready? Built by Tiffin Motorhomes in Red Bay, Alabama. Roll Tide. Where he goes. Sit. <laughs> nice. Yep, that is the ladder. And as you guys can see, there is a nice backup camera up there. And we got the hitch, which is a 10,000 pound hitch. Yes, ma'am. All right. And we have a one piece fiberglass roof. Let's go up there and take a look. All right, Matt. I don't well, like hang those on. ladders. Look at these tail lights, right? Yeah. Like, I, I love what they're doing there. Please hold on. I don't like that ladder. Here we go, ma'am. Hold on. Here we go. All right, up here on the roof, you can see this is a nice one piece fiberglass roof. Not one, not two, but three air conditioning units. I love that. All low profile. Right there, say um, a satellite dish. You got your triple vision digital antenna. And then here's your wine guard to go connect. That's probably for Wi-Fi and everything. Here we go now. Take your time. Hold on. Slow. Careful. Two more steps. Last one. Great. And if you haven't already, Make sure you smash that thumbs up button. What other RV sales with gold takes fat ass up on the roof? Show you what features the roof has to offer. Nobody. On the number one selling diesel pusher in America. Nobody. Nobody. Try to get this. I know it's silly, Andrea, but that is so nice. I'll move your finger. It is so nice. Finishing up with the driver's side. You have a Chuma Hot instant hot tankless water heater. A little bit of, yep, a little bit of storage there. 50 amp power cord with a reel. Love that. There's where you fill up your DEF. And in case you didn't know it was a Phaeton, now you do. If you don't know, now you do know. There it is. Oh. Wow, light up bay. Light up bay, that is huge. Power, uh, well, a reel for your hose. Andrea, how often do we see light up bays? I don't think I've ever seen one. That's great in case you got to hook up at nighttime. Yeah, I don't think I've ever seen one. Right, unless none of the lights came on automatically. Other side of the storage. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Other side of the storage. Yep. And right over here. Oh. Oh, that's locked. That's just a little storage compartment. Fuel. Yep, here's the other side you fill up your fuel. And then here's some of your fuse boxes. Okay, come on, hurry. I can't wait to see this. Hang on, Andrea. The outside of this motorhome looks great, but it looks even better on the inside. Let's go take a look. Oh no, I locked it. Mark, mark. Oh, mark, mark. Keys in my pocket. I'm going to keep this in the video. I like how they have Gerard slide toppers. Yeah. Right. Here it is. Look Here at that. Here it is. And look, look at that. Mirrors on the steps, you guys. So nice. Okay. Woo. Wow. Okay, so I'm walking through, as you can see, plenty of walkway through here with the slides in. A little bit smaller when you get through here, but doable. Here is the half bath. Oh no, that's a full bath. 
one bathroom. Yeah, and then here is the bedroom, which is still accessible. Awesome. Oops, hit the thing. Now, Andrea, while the slide outs are coming out, this is a huge motorhome with four slide outs. We do have a favor to ask everyone. If you could, please, y'all, please. This is, we're, we're starting to dabble into some awesome stuff. Leave down in the comments below. Let us know three things you love about this tip and Phaeton and three things you don't like about it. The more people to comment and smash that thumbs up button, the more YouTube likes to promote our videos to. And we thank each and every one of you. I like these floors. Great, now that the slide outs are all finally out, let's take a look. Andrea, is this not beautiful already? Yes. All right, let's get started up here in the cockpit area. Again, this is powered by 380 Cummins on the custom freight liner chassis. Look at that digital dash, tire pressure monitoring system already on. You can see the temperature and everything in it. Very nice. Auto brakes, air horns, your auto leveling's right over here. And then look at this. Look at how this camera is angled at me so I can see what's going on down my left side, right side in reverse while I'm driving. And then you even got the collision, mobile eye collision mitigation and everything. Andre, you want to sit in my co-captain's seat? Yes. Oh, it has a recliner. Yes. Put, put thing here. Yes, recliner. Oh, guys, these are so comfortable. Hands down, probably one of the most comfortable seats I've ever sat in a diesel pusher. Yep, both seats do swivel to become part oh, of the living look, area. I got a little pad over here. Yep, that's very cool. That's pretty awesome. What's that controlling? Uh, your light, ceiling fans. Oh, step nice. Up, step cover. Nice, and it does actually have. There it is. Everybody doing wanted it? to see it. You doing it? She's I'm doing, doing it. it. And look. I must say, if you guys saw our Tiffin video from the other day, I much prefer that step Me cover. Me too. Look at that. That's good. Step so, on it real quick. Yep. Much, much more skate sturdier. Yeah, it still yeah. doesn't look super sturdy. No, so. I mean, it's not meant to jump on. It's just right. so you don't slip. Yes. But wow, that's great. That that just makes me feel so much better. Yep. Then that... Um, and... Uh -huh. These chairs both swivel to become part of the living area, everybody. Yep, and you can see right here the embroidery on the chair and everything. And look, we have cabinetry above, Matt. Yep, no bunk over the cabin, these Tiffins. They don't like doing that. Right there. Very nice. And then we got here. The Very knobs nice. feel a little bit weird. Um, I like there's them. a TV here, too. Yep, and then we got a little bit of storage over there if you want to open those. Very nice. Okay. Yep. Awesome. And right over there in that corner. Perfect. Awesome. So in the living room area, look at this. I'm starting right here. Not everybody needs a dinette. A lot of people don't even use their traditional dinettes. I love what they did here. It's still a dinette. But it's a workstation. It's also a workstation, an office area. And I love this. I love how they did this. Those are for to run your wires. You got some storage down here. So like if you have like a printer or something, a drawer right there. Wow. Very nice. I love this. Solid surface countertops and everything. And it just this just makes sense. I like it because it makes sense. Look at that big TV on that televator. It is a big old TV on the televator. What the sound bar? Oh yeah. And that TV does raise up and down. Wow, and would, would you look at that, Andre? When it is down, that is a huge window right there. Like, imagine that's your little office workstation. Yeah. Or cool. And then across is the living room area. So I see that they give you a recliner right there. Yes, let's try it out. Nice recliner. Oh, oh, oh Got my goodness. Got a rocker. Goodness. It is a rocker. It feels good. I have another TV lift button right here. Very nice. No, look, look at this. Uh, yes. All the, the AC lights. units. Yep. All the AC units. You don't see the duct work or not the duct work. You know, the box in the middle. Yes. The dump um, station. The dumps. Yeah. Yep. It's very nice and elegant looking. I like the sofa. I like that three seater sofa. It looks yes. nice. 
Very nice. Got some cabinetry above. Yep, very nice. What kind yep. of shades do we have here? Let's see. We have, okay, privacy and... Yeah, I was about to say... Second. Yeah. <laughs> I was about to say. Oh, don't I tell like me those there's daytime, no daytime shades. shades. Those are nice. Yeah, daytime shades and privacy shades. And look, they got give you a nice wall light sconce there. Yep. This is a nice sofa. Okay, it's a pull-out bed. Okay. Pull-out bed right there. Very nice porcelain tiles right there. I love the floor in here. Flooring looks awesome. We have a nice piece of artwork art right there, Andrea. Is that artwork? Art deco? No. Oh, okay. <laughs> and then right over here, we got a little bit more storage. Little drawers. Even though it's not a lot, I love how they continue the solid surface countertops right there. And a Furion 40 inch fireplace. And check this out. They got a little cover over the fan up here. Nice. Well, Andrea, it's now time for the MSRP. Burr, 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 burr. MSRP on this Phaeton here is... $357, $357,643 MSRP. Sale price, because it is a Tiffin, you guys know, we are not allowed to advertise the sale price on Tiffin, but Andrea, doesn't matter what the sale price is, we can get you the best price in America on any Tiffins. Tell everybody what to do. You can call, you can text, you can email, you can FaceTime. Hey, 301-906-0962 or mattsrvreviews at gmail.com or check out the website, mattsrvreviews.com, where you can get your official Matt's RV Review sticker. Bing! Also, there's a contact me page below. And again, you contact me if you want to buy one of these units. I will get you in contact with one of my team members to get you... The best price in America! Andrea, let's continue the video. Yes, you guys, make sure, because you'll get the Matt price. And also, you guys will be getting a voucher, so make sure you contact Matt. Yes. Look at this cabinetry. Wow. Adjustable shelf. Uh-huh. And they give you a drawer there. Look at this. Happy Trails, Bob and Judy Tiffin. Wonderful. You know, Andre, I was looking up there to see if he signed it, and I was like, really? How's this going to be the number one signed motorhome and he's not going to sign they it? They are, yeah. Nice. They are very customer oriented. Yes. Very uh, nice. I love, I love what Tiffin does with these panoramic windows. Oh, yeah. And they continued their back splash here. Yep. They have the privacy shade here and uh -huh. you're, I guess this is a pyramid of power. That is, well, no, no, no. Somebody, somebody corrected us. It's not a pyramid. That's the prism. Oh, the prism of power. Prism of power. I like that. And then we got a pull out peninsula. I like the LED lights underneath here. Uh-huh. There we go. Very nice. Pull out peninsula. You don't have enough counter space. Very nice. Good for utensils. Nice big drawer down here. I like mm. the cabinetry. It feels great quality. Yep. You got a Whirlpool convection microwave. Very nice. And we got the, this might be induction, I think, but no. no. Oh, wow. Propane. Okay, so you get a th the three burner residential style. Yep. Propane. Wow. Interesting. That is interesting. These things are heavy. You got cabinetry. Oh, Ooh, that's an $83 trash can. That's fancy. Nice. You got a drawer here. These are hard to open. Interesting. Wow. Very nice. Okay. More cabinetry. Another shelf. And another cabinet. I Very like how nice. they did that. And then let's see, we got a double sink. Wow. Big very sink. big double sink. Wow. Big sink. I'll tell you, those look heavy too. They're very heavy. Very and nice. Underneath, we got more storage. Wow. Great job. Oh, okay. Look. Look at this. More drawers. Because wow. you can never have enough. This kitchen is great. Yes. 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 Soft clothes. Ooh, I didn't even notice that. 
Whirlpool residential refrigerator. Runs nice. off your inverter. Ice maker and everything. And you got your pantry. Well, what about the here. freezer? Oh yeah. Normally I don't open the freezer, but nice, <laughs> nice. And then we got the Oh. That is so pantry. cool. Pantry. I love this pantry. Andrea. Do you know why the pantry wouldn't come out just a second ago? The engine's on. Because the engine's on. Yeah. That is so cool. So that's an override that you have to push that button to make sure that it uh, comes out. Very neat. Oh, look at this bathroom. Let's see. Bathroom. Oh. Okay. okay. Wow. Turn the lights on. Um, oh my gosh. Wow. Look at the shower. Wow. Well, first right here, look at this. Jack and Jill sink, right? Very nice. You got a medicine cabinet right there, more storage there, and more storage there. Very and that, nice. Look above here. Is that the fan? Yeah, but I like what they did Me there. Me too. Just looks more classy and elegant. Got a cabinet up here. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Solid surface countertops over this sink. And look, you even have a little place for soap and GFI power. That's cool. Drawers. Soft drawers. Clothes. Soft clothes. Wow. That's excellent storage for in here. Yes. I love that bathroom. Yeah, look at I mean, this shower. shower. Wow. One piece fiberglass shower. Very nice glass door. I just love the material. You can tell that it's durable. And you got a little seat here. I like that they gave you a handle in there too. Yes, very nice. Put your shampoo, conditioner there, soap, and I believe that closes too, yep? Yep, sure does. That's awesome. Well, Andrea, it's now time for the toilet test. And I remember we might have a little issue here. It was because it was on a slide. I remember why right. they came uh, to a caddy corner. It was, it was, it was a different brand. And it, I don't get it. Andrea, are you ready for this? America's number one, America's about to, something's wrong. You ready for this? No riots, no protests, y'all. Even though this is the number one selling motorhome in the country, I, I'm not giving it a prime pooping position. Eh. Here's why. Could it pass? Yes, it could. But here's the difference maker. What's this here? If this literally was flush against this wall, I would have approved it. This, I cannot give a prime pooping position, Andrea. What say you? I mean, you see this, right? I'm not the toilet expert. So, I don't know why. Literally, that thickness would have made this okay. That's just a bummer. I'm a tough critic, America. I'm a womp, tough critic. Womp. I'm a tough critic. So you go through that door, and yep. I'll go through the bedroom door. All right, we got a door, a pocket door on the bedroom, it looks like. Yep. King size bed. King size bed. Very nice. Hold on, Matt. I'm going to grab this cabinet under here. Would You have a little tiny nightstand, USB. And you should turn those lights on back there. There we go. Very nice. Interesting headboard. I like it. Two windows on each side. We have good cabinetry there. Wow. Very nice. I like the cushions and everything. I like that you get a ceiling fan in here. Look at that artwork right there. I know. Very nice. And let's see if we have storage under the bed since we're right here. And you did say the ceiling fan? Yes. Yeah, very nice. Okay. Oh yeah, there is storage under is there. Yeah, a little wow. bit. Wow. Something's definitely better than nothing. I like the LED lights. Nice LG TV right there. What is this? Okay. I was wondering what this is, but electronics need to breathe. Hamper. Oh, hamper. Hamper. Hamper for the camper. You got a drawer right there. And oh, that's a some big drawers drawer. right here. And then above you have some cabinetry mat. Uh -uh. We got this one here. Okay. Very nice. And then you got the privacy shade there yep. with your exit window. Very nice. Uh, okay. Never mind. What's in here? Let's check it out. And as you can see, guys, there is a step to go up into the closet. And that's where you have your stackable washer and stackable dryer. Stackable washer dryer. Hold on, hold on. Oh, sorry. Stackable in your walk-in closet. You have a safe back here. That's cool. Very nice big closet hold on. area. Let me get over here. There is more cabinetry with nope. drawers. Oh, yeah. 
very nice. Okay, and then you have, just in case you ran out, you have more room in here. Yes, ma'am. With another, is that a safe? That's the fuses. Oh, the fuses. But that is a, I love this closet in yep. here. One more. Very nice, and that has a pocket door as well. Yes. Very nice, Andrea. And as nice as it is, and as the number one selling motorhome that it is, you know the rules. It's now time we give everybody three things we love about this motorhome and three things we dislike about it. Andrea, what should we do with first? Three things we dislike about it. Perfect. I'm going first. Okay. You ready? I've never said this and I've never done this on the show. Maybe because I've never seen this. This is your emergency window. Bro. Bros. My bros out there. My women out there. My people out there. If that's my emergency exit, I don't know if I'll be able to make it all the way out. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I know. Um, I do not like that for an emergency exit. It's a yeah, very it small is a little tight window. window. Even um, like looking at it. It's just weird. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it does something else. Maybe the whole thing pops out. I'm not sure. Uh, I, I I do not like that window whatsoever. Okay. So that's one. Two. You ready for my number two? Sure. I do not like the carpet in here. E either do I. It looks sloppy in here. Yeah. This is a three hundred thousand dollar coach. It's America's number one coach. You did such a great job up here. Cabinetries, furniture. I do not like the way the front the carpet looks and I the know. carpet already looks dirty yeah um and it's not dirty that's just the way it's supposed to right. look and i don't i like don't it. like it either so that's two andre you have a third one i do talk although, to me although i normally don't like the dark cabinets uh they don't bother me at all in here but i will tell you what bothers me is uh -huh. this this looks very weird to me no way very liberace who's that He's a piano player. And what I mean by that is it's a little bit too busy for in here. I like it, but also I like busy. <laughs> so Too busy. Okay. I mean, listen, you know the rules. We're not going to take away from anybody's likes or dislikes. And, and it is what it is, and it is what it does. So that's three things we don't like about it. Now it's time for three things we love about this motorhome. And I'm going to go first. I absolutely love the practicality in here. Yes. I've been saying it for years, Andrea, that they don't need to make dinettes in motorhomes because you're either eating outside or you're eating at a restaurant. And very t few times are people actually eating inside. Not everybody, but some, the way we like to camp, we're not eating inside. I love this. It's an office space. I can work in here. And, and you can eat there, too. And I can eat there, too, if I'm not going out to eat or if it's raining outside and I don't want to eat outside. So love that feature. That is my number one. Okay. Number two. I'll go number two. I love this three-seater sofa. It's comfortable. I like how comfortable it is. It's I plush. like the aesthetics of it. The look. And I like how it it pulls out to be a, a full sofa. I mean, a full bed. Not only that, Andrea, the way it contrasts the dark cabinets does make it look fantabulous. Yes. So that's number two. And then number three, I must say, the kitchen. I love the way, oh, oh, I have another dislike. So here's what I'm gonna say. I'm gonna do my like first. Number three, I love this kitchen. I love the countertop. I love the backsplash and I love that big window. And I love this um, refrigerator right there. So that's three things. I'm gonna give you guys <laughs> bonus feature. Thanks so much for still watching. I'm gonna give you guys a fourth dislike and a fourth like. You ready for my fourth dislike, Andrea? Yeah. I don't like how there's propane in this. Okay. I, at this level, at this price point, should be induction, you know? So that's number four thing I don't like, and I'm gonna give you a fourth thing that I really love about it. It is outside. Fourth thing, it's right up front. Fourth thing I absolutely love about this motorhome is this headlight design. This is mean, it's aggressive, it's the on the Phaeton, right? Like the way it sparkles right here with the chrome, I absolutely love it. Well, Andrea, that's it, that's the review. Thank you absolutely everybody so much for watching. If you guys have any questions about this Tip and Phaeton, 
feel free to call me, text me, send me an email. It is mattsrvreviews at gmail.com or 301-906-0962. That's my personal cell. Or check us out online at mattsrvreviews.com where you can get your official Matt's RV Review sticker. Bing! Also, there's a contact me page below. Again, you contact me, I get you in contact with somebody from my team to get you the best price in America. Andrea, do you want to say anything? Yes! Hey everybody, thanks so much for watching. Let us know the three things that you like about this RV and the three things that you dislike. Tiffin does read the comments, so we appreciate everybody's feedback. I hope you guys are safe and you guys are well. Thanks for watching! Thanks so much for watching, Andrea. We'll, we'll see you next time! time.